Hey, this is Fernando coming to you from beautiful Geelong, Australia here. Um, super excited to be able to spend the next uh, few minutes with you, uh, sharing with you about um, how to grow your business on social media. So if you saw the, uh, the text on the post here, it says, you know, do you have a product or business opportunity that you are passionate about, that you are just dying to get to the masses, uh, but you don't know how to do that properly on social media? And so here's what I know. So if, you, if you're in the network marketing opportunity and you've had phenomenal results with your products and you know how good they are and you just want to share them with the world, um, you maybe want to also help uh, people join your team so that you can have double the impact, uh, there's a specific way of doing that. The challenge, uh, here's the challenge um, that most people face when they're trying to bring their business onto social media. Most people, uh, most network marketers, what they do or what they get told by the network marketing company is to share their products, share photos of their products, uh, share their opportunity links on their personal profile, uh, you know, sometimes do three, four posts a day, uh, share product testimonials and, and then people will sign up. That's what they get told. And after speaking to over two and a half thousand people from over 30 countries and 40 different network marketing companies, having coached them and helped them, um, you very quickly learn that doesn't work, right? It doesn't work. In fact, it's, it's considered a spam and it's the quickest way to repel people uh, from you. So, so then you, you're tearing your hair out wondering, well, how do I do this? You know, I was told to that social media is the way to go. There's a lot of people making money on social media with the businesses. They come in, they grow. You know they're not doing it in a conventional way. So what's the best way and why isn't this working? I'll tell you why it doesn't work. Because to, to go online and to share your product and your product links, to even brand yourself as your company, um, is asking people to do business with you before you've given them a reason to trust you. If you were to go to a coffee shop and uh, met someone in the queue waiting for your coffee to be delivered, um, chances are that you know, you know, if you invite them to join your business just because they're giving you the name and they wish you a happy day, uh, they're probably going to run the other way, okay? So it, it's, it's no different online. It's exactly the same. In fact, it's a lot easier for people to snub you online, uh, to give you the cold shoulder because they don't really know you yet anyway. So there's got to be a different way. So there is a better way. And the better way is to lead with value. I mean, there's no secret there. If you lead with value first, you're giving people an opportunity to get to know you, to get to like you, and then hopefully trust you and then maybe want to know more about how you can share your opportunity or your product with them. But how do you add value to someone? You need to first understand what is, it, what is the problem that they're facing in their life, right? It may be that someone has health problems, like they might be overweight, they want to lose some weight, uh, they may be struggling with energy, uh, they may be, uh, they want to resolve their financial issues and you're in a, you might be in an opportunity where you do uh, financial services. Um, so once you get to know people and you know what their problems are, then you can formulate a, a plan. You can create some content that you can share with them to help them solve that problem. So you have to lead with value. So you, you think to yourself, okay, uh, Fernanda, so uh, I lead with value. There's only one problem. If you're fairly new to your business and you're fairly new to taking your business online, then the challenge is what value can I possibly bring to people? I don't have any value. I haven't written any content. I'm not a, a marketer. I'm not a copywriter. And so what are the professionals doing? I'll tell you what the professionals are doing. They're using other people's content. How cool is that? You don't even have to create your own content. I don't use my own content. I mean, I do now, but when I started, I didn't create my own content. And there's a way that you can ethically use other people's content that has already been written in a way that has the social proof, that has the psychological triggers, that has all the compelling language, all hypnotic language, uh, headline, headlines that convert, that are tested, that when you put that content using Facebook in front of your qualified audience, it's going to be a no-brainer for them to want to click on it and want to learn, how to, and want to learn more and how to do that. And now you're going to be able to attract people, um, people's email so you can connect with them and find out how to serve them. So we're not talking about putting them into your opportunity yet. We're still finding about how to best serve this person. And if you're willing to do that, then you're going to be in a much better position um, to attract people to your business, people that are qualified. So if, if this sounds intriguing to you, if you're tired of 
um, getting rejected, getting nice. If you're tired of people, if you're noticing your friends are logging off when you're logging on to social media uh, because they're scared that you're going to pitch them one more time. Um, if you're tired of you know, putting posts three, four times a day and not making any headway, I'm going to invite you to comment more info below because I'm going to share with you. I'm putting together a video. I'm going to take you through step by step uh, on a system that I use um, specifically to attract qualified prospects. Imagine if you could get four new, four new leads a day, just four leads a day. That's like 120 leads a month, right? That you can then get into a conversation with who are highly qualified. Who you don't have to explain anything about pyramids. Uh, illegal stuff because they already know what you're talking about because they're in the industry and be able to uh, have a conversation to help them uh, with your opportunity, uh, with your product and have them be part of your team. If that excites you, I hope it does, comment more info below and I'm going to send you a private message uh, with some additional resources that I'm putting together right now that are going to help you understand exactly how to go from maybe not recruiting anybody to start to getting four leads, uh, four leads a day within the next 30 days, all right? If you had 120 people in the next three months, in the next uh, 30 days, and you're working on industry standards, which is a 3% conversion, three out of 100 people, um, then you're probably going to be a top recruiter in your opportunity, right? Uh, and you don't have to be a mathematician to work that out. And even if you're doing, you know, half of that, it's still going to be a lot better than maybe what you're doing right now, and it's a start. And then you can scale up. Uh, and as well as that, I'm going to show you not only how to get the leads, but how to get the leads to pay for themselves. How cool is that? Now you're not even paying for your leads, your leads are paying, and now you can have an endless supply of leads that you can talk to about your business or your opportunity in an ethical way without spamming, and you're talking to people that actually want to hear what you have to say. So if that excites you, comment below. Super excited that you're here with me watching this, uh, even the recording, and we'll talk real soon. Right. Be blessed, take care, and bye for now.